5.24%, and this year they passed a 5.5% increase. Uh, Edmonton, 3.30, but their, their average over the, uh, the years from 2009 to this year is 5.16%. Saskatoon, 4.05%. Uh, they passed almost a 5%, a 4.99% increase this year. And for us, we passed this tonight at 4.45, but our average is 3.27. So we've been very competitive over time, very, very competitive on our increases. We're going to spend $18 million on road repair, the most ever. This is the priority that people want to see in our community. Winter road maintenance, $6.3 million. Street sweeping and alley maintenance, $6 million. Asphalt services, $4 million. Bridge repairs, $3.2 the hard infrastructure issues we need to do to move our city to go forward. There's a host of, uh, of new construction happening on Victoria Avenue and, and Parliament Avenue Extension. The police service budget, we passed that. To save communities, this is what the public wants to see. Delivering uh, quality services to our community. The waste collection system operation, $9.4 million. The landfill investments, including the closing of the existing landfill, $5 million. As well as our recycling and waste plan Regina, $3.2 million. We're investing in parks in our community development. Always been what the priority of our, 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 our citizens have been. So I have no issue supporting that. Um, but I have a, a question to the administration that I'm, I'm going to have an amendment. Uh, it seems to me that every year we have a report back to the administration on uh, the snow removal. What's happened? And I'm assuming we're going to have another report come back sometime, perhaps in the spring. Is that to you, uh, Mr. Chair, to the administration? Uh, Mr. Chairman, that's correct. We're retarding uh, uh, late May to late June. I think that we're going to back to the uh, Thank you for that. I, I have an amendment. Actually, I have two amendments. The first one would be that uh, in consideration of this report, that the administration uh, investigate the feasibility of implementing snow routes in our community. Uh, this has been a topic of conversation throughout this winter. And I'm speaking primarily of, uh, of uh, obviously of major routes like our uh, route number one and two and three. Uh, particularly down Victoria Avenue where we, we drive to work, you can see cars that have been there literally encased in ice are there for three months, two months. And it's very difficult to get by. So I'm not saying we should do it, but I'd like to get a second of that motion uh, to go forward. Second that. Second. And nor am I saying we should do it. I'm saying the feasibility of it. So if I could, uh, I won't speak to it anymore, but others may have comments on it. But I think it's imperative that we, we address the issues we've heard from, from members of this, of uh, residents across the city that ask us to look at this. I've heard it. There's other things we could be doing. This report would be coming back. But of course, we'll have a chance to more particularly talk about things you want to tweak and adjust when the report comes back in the spring. Does anyone have a speaking Council Thank you. Um, uh, just to clarify, um, do you mean um, snow routes as in no parking on either side of the street or parking only on one side or what exactly are you asking? I, I wouldn't say this way a consequence that, that uh, there will be parking on Victoria Avenue as an example, but we would be designated snow routes when the city wants to uh, clear it. You are notified to get off the street. You don't get off the street, you're told away, but the street will be cleared. Thank you. I'm in support of that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I, uh, thanks for your comments, Mr. Mayor. And I, I'd be in support of it so long as the intent is that uh, the people that are actually cleaning their streets have a, a real say in if, if it's a good idea or have the final say. Absolutely. This is only a piece of waste time. Sure. Okay, thanks. Any further discussion? Councilor Hawkins? Uh, I seconded the motion and support it. Um, I also think that uh, while this study is going on, it would be an ideal time to, uh, for the administration to look at the question of how we clear residential streets with cars parked for long periods of time, whether there could be some system whereby those cars could be uh, moved out so the street could be cleared and then uh, uh, other streets cleared. So I think this is a good start at the whole problem of parked cars blocking snow clearance. Any further discussion? So the amendment, all in favor? Opposed? And that is carried. Okay, thank you. Well, the next one relates to the Wisconsin Authority. And we do have an outstanding request uh, from the authority. 